Okay, so we have a logic question here, and they want to know which statement is always true. So no matter what we're starting with in terms of truth value, the combined statement has to result in a true state. So first, let's just analyze this first one, right? We have this symbol right here, which you might recognize as the intersection or end symbol. And that's one that we can kind of reason through intuitively. This right kind of logic statement is only true when both parts right are true any other combination will create a false statement so what does this mean well p to begin with could be true or p could be false and that's in all cases we don't know what the starting state is but we do know here you can see right this little symbol right the inverse here of p and that tells us that whatever p is to begin with over here we have the opposite. So for example, if we have uh, if p is true, then we have true and what? Well true and the inverse of true, false. Or we could have false, right, because p could be false, and true. In either case, what happens? Well, in either case, we have a false statement mixed with a true one. And this just means that overall the statement will never be true because whatever we start with, we have the opposite. So if we have true, we have in the beginning we have false in the end. So this cannot be true. Now the next one is an or statement, and what does that mean? Well, the or, or the disjoint statement here, well, I'll, I'll write or, because that's a little bit more intuitive. Now or is used in math um, and English, however, they do mean slightly different things. In math, if you say or, it's one or the other, or both could be true, right? Um, and that refers to the truth statements and beyond. So that means if p or not p, the inverse of p, right, not p, is true, then overall this must be a true statement. And I think you can see, based on the two cases we could have, right, because this is the same situation, in either scenario, now what we have is, it, is at least one part true. So overall, this must be true in the first scenario of true and false, true or false, right? I should change that, sorry. So true or false or we could have false or true, for the same reasons as before, because we have p and not p. In either scenario, we have at least one true statement, so overall, this will always be true. And that's our answer, but let's just analyze these other two. Here, we have a conditional, and we, have, we could have true, then false, or false, then true. Which one of these is, is true? Well, this one overall has a truth value of true, right? This is a true statement, basically saying, um, if you start with a false statement, is it possible then to have a true statement following it? Sure, that's possible, right? The false statement before it is not a requirement for a true statement afterwards. However, since these things are connected, if you start with a true statement, its true statement must follow. You can't start in a true state and then end in a false state, right? You can't start with true because that should result in another true statement, because it is an if-then statement. So if we have true in the beginning, we're guaranteed true in the end. However, this is a false statement, because you can't start with true and then get an end statement, uh, then get a false statement, because this is the conditional, right? This arrow means conditional, right? The state of the second right term is conditional on the first. So if we start with true, we must have true following it. That's the definition of these kind of logic statements. Now here we have the biconditional, right? So, so oh, and by the way, this, as you can see, it could be false or true, and so it's not always going to be true. And the biconditional is only true when you have um, a true, right? If and only if, that's how you can say a biconditional, fancy way, two Fs. If and only if, they're both true or if and only if they're both both false that's just saying well if you have a you have a false here if and only if this is also false or you have a true here if and only if this one is also true they're connected right you can't have one with the other it's not possible to have a false if and only if a true that doesn't make sense so here um, this will always in fact be false because what we have here is p and not p in other words we'll never have two of the same truth values. If we start with true, right, then we get if and only if false, 
because they're opposites. And if we start with false, we have if and only if true. So the state here can never be true because they'll never match, which is the requirement for a biconditional. All right, I hope this helped.